Hey everyone, it's Robert here, and today I'm doing a little substitute video because I can't do some gaming videos right now because I've got a lot of schoolwork on. I've got four assessments on at the moment um, in my last year of school. So, uh, today I'm going to be sharing my PlayStation games collection, and I've got them all laid out in front of me. I've got PS1, PS2, PS3. Um, so, we're going to start with PS1, go PS2, and then go PS3. So, that means it's a logical order. And, yeah, let's uh, get the ball rolling. Now, I've only got two PS1 games, and I, I never had a PS1, never, I only played a couple PS1 games, I've played uh, nearly all the Crash games, I haven't played Crash 2, I've played Spyro, so don't panic, I have done that, I've played Metal Gear Solid on my PSP, and so far that's, that's about it, as far as I can tell, um, but the two games I've got aren't really that good, um, the first two Harry Potter games. I'm sorry if I don't I don't know the uh, how good the light is, but if you can see that. Um, so yeah, I got these off trade me because I remember playing them as a kid and I really enjoyed them. Um, in all honesty, they're not that good, but they are very fun to play. So if that makes any sense. Um, See, that's PlayStation 1 done. Now I've got a bit more on PlayStation 2, and I think we'll start off at the bottom. Um, sorry about all the banging, I don't have my headset at the moment, so I can't... It, the audio quality won't be as good, so uh, I apologise for that now. So, um, this is the first game we got with the PS2. The PS2 was my first gaming console, I hadn't really played too many PC games apart from like click adventure ones, and... With the PS2 came Spider-Man on DVD, which I watched numerous times, and Gran Turismo 3. So, this is the first, pretty much the first console game I ever owned. I can't, my memory's foggy beyond the end of the PC games, but, yeah, I didn't really play this too much. I know it's a good game, um, my dad played it with me a lot, but that's the only game he's ever really played with me a lot, because he doesn't really, he plays Tetris on his phone now. I know, what a bore. Um, but this game is, um, is, is, I don't know, I, I have really good memories of it, but I don't remember playing it that much, so, I don't know, maybe I'll go back one day and play that, um, so, yeah. Alright, next up we have another racing game, which is nowhere near as good, uh, V8 Supercars Australia 2, my dad got this and he wouldn't let me sell it, so we've still got it, uh, unfortunately, it's not that good, I'm sorry, but I don't know if you have it in Europe or Australia, uh, um, yeah, America, but I don't think you do, because it's, uh, maybe, I don't know, um, by the way, just a little backstory, I did sell a lot of my PS2 games, I know, I'm an idiot, I was a kid, and I sold, I think, uh, Shrek 2 is the one I sold that I'm really depressed about now, <laughs> if you can say, I don't know, the specific term for it, but, yeah, um, one thing I didn't sell, though, is Star Wars Battlefront 2, now this is an awesome game, I, um, the PC version is better because you can pretty much double the amount of people in the battles and there's also a big war mod, also the graphics are better which is alright, yeah. Um, but mostly because of the extra people, it feels like a full out war. But this game, me and my brother played this split screen a lot, like a heck of a lot and uh, yeah, many hours were spent killing droids because we always played Republic or Stormtrooper. Right. Um, up next, we have a game which I also sold when I was, uh, when I went through the PS2 selling frenzy. Oh, also I sold Ratchet and Clank. That's the other one, uh, the first two, and Ratchet Gladiator. And Ratchet Gladiator, I finished so many times. Ratchet and Clank one and two, I did not finish, but I got very close on two. Um, but this game was my first game ever. Um, Grand Theft Auto three was my dad's, but this I got for Christmas. Um, and it was my first game ever, and I sold it, but I bought it again on Trade Me, which is sort of like a New Zealand eBay. Um, but that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This game, uh, scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Um, if you remember the prefix, if you ever played this and you remember the prefix, you will understand why I, uh, I was scared of this game. This game is very, very difficult. Um, well, it was. I don't know about now. I've... I have I bought it recently and I have yet to play it because I need to find my memory card for the PS2. So yeah. Now up next we have my favourite game series. Now the first game was actually given to my brother on the same Christmas that Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets was given to me. But um yeah, I played this one more. 
and that game is Jack and Dexter the Precursor Legacy. Now this is, this is made by Naughty Dog after they lost the rights to Crash Bandicoot uh, for, from, for Univer from Universal um, but yeah I really like this game. I've played this game so many I think this is the game I've played the most times. I've completed it the most times. I haven't played it the mo most hours that will go to Pokemon Diamond. Um, but I'll show you quickly a map that was inside it, which is really cool, and it's got sellotape and everything all over it, because I was a little kid. There you go. See, it's got a whole map. I don't know if you can see that properly, but this basically changed the way that I play games now, and I really like adventure games, and this was what started all that. I've even written Forbidden Forest, spelt F-O-R-B-I-D-D-I-N, which is completely wrong. Um, and Lava Tube, which I spelled L-A-V-A-T-U-P-E. <sighs> yeah, I was... I'm good at spelling now. I, I can say I'm good at spelling, but... Not then. I think I was about five years old when this came out, when I got it. Um, I got stuck on the plant monster in Forbidden Forest for a long time until a guy at school told me. Actually, I was year three, so I was seven years old, I think, when I was playing it a lot. Now, I actually have all the games in the series, um, starting with Jack 2. Now, holy crap, this game is hard, okay? Um, the difficulty spikes is is very, uh, somebody just walking along the fence there. So, um, difficulty spikes go up, down, up, down, up, down. And I remember one level where you had to grab the seal, and all these guards will drop down in the docks, and you have to get past them. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. What you do is you hoverboard through them. You can get past them before they drop down. That's what I figured out when I was a kid, and I was so happy when I played this again um, later on, and I knew <laughs> what to do. So it's a very good game, though. It's I think it's got one of the best stories in gaming. I really like the story. It was so badass. Um, so, yeah. And now up next came the sequel to that, which I enjoyed more as a child, Jack 3, and I enjoyed less so as, as a teenager. Um, now this game's this game has a lot of good things with it, but I think all the complaints of Jack 2's difficulty made this game far too easy. It is very, very easy, apart from a couple of missions. And also the ending. I didn't really like the surprise at the ending. I'm not going to spoil any of these games, by the way. Um, well, I'll spoil, like, little things, but not, like, plot twists or anything. Um, but, I am not. I, I enjoyed this game a lot. I think it's a good game, a very good game. Um, especially with the, the graphics on the PS2 were amazing at the time. Um, but, it's, it's too easy. And, I, I really like the bit before they go down to see the surprise. If you know what I'm talking about, if you, the, before they go down on the vehicle. So, that was, that was a good piece of story right there. Up next we have Jack X, what's Jack X, sorry, um, which was not, I was not too fond of when I was little. I remember him hating his hair, I know it was a, such a small nitpick, but um, I didn't finish this game, and I still have not, but I went back and played it, and it is very good. I, me and my brother did, did death matches on this all the time, it's a very good racing game. If you like Twisted Metal, you'll like this, because it's just racing and shooting but with a, a good story to go alongside it and good characters as well. Um, now up next, that was, that, that was made by Naughty Dog by the way, Jack X. However, this next game in the series was not, and if you, some of you already know what I'm thinking of, Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier. I do not like this game at all. Um, sure the fly missions were cool until the second time you did it, and the third, which is the same thing over and over. And Dark Daxter was really boring, I'm sorry. I like I like the look of the game, but I don't like what they've done with the story, how it's just Jack and Kira going around. I don't know, I miss all the old... They, they removed so many of the old characters, and I just did not enjoy it as, as a kid. Maybe I'll go back and play it. I don't know. Now, uh, that's pretty much all my PS2 games. I did have a lot more, as I said, but I sold a lot of them. Um, I can't think of any I sold off the top of my head apart from Shrek 2 and, Jack and, and Ratchet and Clank and Harry Potter. Um, but, yeah.